So I owed some money to some dangerous people. We won't tell that story, but I needed money fast. And uh, I had 70 grand, I needed 100 to stay alive. And I wasn't fighting for a while. That was the time was the only way I was making money. So I thought, you know what? I'm sitting there. I had 70 grand cash in my house. I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know what? Sometimes, Tate, God just loves you and you just get lucky. You're gonna go to the casino and you're gonna make the 30. So I told Tristan my plan. He's like, bro, what if you don't do it? I was like, bro, if I don't do it, we're fucked anyway. Like, we, they're gonna get us eventually, we're gonna end up dead. So I took 20 of the money, went to the casino, and lost it all. <laughs> Came home, now I'm 50 G's down. So I said to Tristan, we got a week to pay this money. I'm not gonna leave my bedroom till I find a way to make 50 grand. So he's like, all right, cool. Cause I think it was, was it Newton? One of the, one of the, one of the scientists was a really weird guy. And if he had a scientific problem, he'd sit in his room and not leave until he worked it out. So I decided to become Newton. Maybe it was him, maybe it wasn't him. So I'm sitting in my room. So I started thinking, okay, let me approach this logically. I'm a very intelligent man. Let's do this. What do I need? Let's we'll start at the very beginning. What do I want? Money. What is money? So I started researching what is money? What is money? How does it work? Federal Reserve, fractional reserve banking, interest, inflation, da da. And by the time I got to the end of about a day and a half's research on money, I was really pissed off. Cause I realized that money's bullshit. It's not even fucking real and I don't have any. So now I'm double mad. Cause I'm like, this is fucking imaginary trash linked to nothing and I ain't got none. So I was really pissed. So I'm watching all these fucking videos and doing all this research on like assets, liabilities, blah, blah, blah. And then I got a piece of pen and paper. I've been taking notes the whole time. And I got to the point where I was trying to write down my assets. So I got a BMW. What's that worth? 22 grand something. I had a, a rented apartment. Uh, I'm big and strong, but I'm already fighting. I'm smart, but I'm already using it, trying to make money. I'm just writing down everything I have. And I had like these five girlfriends from fighting all around the world, right? So I'd, I'd fly to Paris, I'd knock someone out, I'd fuck a ring girl. And then she'd be like, oh, you're the champ, you're the champ. I'd be like, yeah, I love you too, baby. And I'd, I'd leave. And they'd think like I was this big baller in London. I mean, I had an apartment and a nice car. My life was fine. But I also had some problems from a previous life, which I can't talk about on the internet. And uh, they were still in love with me. So I was texting all these bitches, whatever, whatever. So I had these five girlfriends in these five different cities all around the world. So I thought, well, are the girls an asset? Well, they have beauty, beauty's valuable. So I guess they're an asset. Maybe they can like lend me the money or get jobs and pay me the money or some shit. Cause I need to pay this money. I'll pay them back, but I need to pay this money. So I wrote them down. Anyway, I was just thinking, I was thinking, what can these, maybe these, can these chicks help me in any way? One of the girls offered to let, lend me like five Gs or something. It didn't really help. And I'm sitting there thinking, can these chicks help me in any way? And I'm not a ruthless person. I'm really not an evil person that they try and paint me on the internet. I am not the guy who's going to put a bitch on the track. I'm not the guy who's going to hard pimp a bitch, make her fuck dudes. I'm not that guy. I don't like those kind of things. I don't want anyone to touch my chick. Strip club, maybe. But then to open a strip club, you need money. Right? How the fuck you open a strip club with no money? You need to build a strip club. It takes money. So I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm Googling on the internet, like strip clubs or, or I was Googling like uh, remote jobs, London, trying to see if there was some remote work I could tell my girlfriends to do online remotely to get the money. And I could tell the guys, look, I'll have the money by this day. And then between me and them and more of the incomes, I could pull the money and get the money. Boom, boom. And while I'm looking up remote jobs in the corner, one of them little videos comes up, talk to live girls now. You know those fucking things are on the porn sites. I didn't know how big like chatting to girls on the internet was. So I clicked on this advert. There's some chick sitting there talking to dudes, bring money, bring money on one of these websites. And I was like, I wonder how much she's getting. So then I start looking into this webcam thing and I realized these girls are making bank. These girls are making fucking money. So that was the plan. I was like, all right, cool. The girls are gonna be webcam girls. So I originally thought I'll set them all up remotely and they'll do it all from home and send me the money. What money is they want? Are they really gonna give me the money? You know, am I gonna end up with the money or is this gonna go bad for me? Plus, now they need tech. I'm gonna have to send them money to buy tech. Do I really trust the bitch to send the money? Is she gonna work hard? Is she gonna set it up right? This might all go wrong. So the only answer is I gotta bring them all to me and I gotta be in charge. So I flew all five chicks in. None of them knew about each other, nothing. Thank you. Sat down at a nice restaurant, me, Tristan, he flew two, I flew five, seven girls. So look, about to get rich, this is my plan. I'm gonna do this, 